Welcome to the Cryptic Commander on YouTube. We are proudly sponsored by North Valley Games. You can go to NorthValleyGames.com and save 10% off your orders. We're sponsored by the Hobby Goblins. We're partnering with Magic the Gathering Player Group on Facebook. And Cosmic Gaming. I'm your host Luna. Today we're going to open a pre-release kit of Battles for Boulder Gate. Last time we've opened these, we've gotten a few different kinds of dice. It seems like the average one is green. Um, so I want to go ahead and get two guesses. My main guess is red. My backup guess is going to be white. Let's see when either of those guesses are red. Realistically, I should just stick with one. I want to try two different guesses. So let's see. Do we get a red one or do we get a white one? All right. Three, two, one. And it's a black one. All right. So we got a black one. I'm going to save our promo for last. Alright, let's get crack lesson. In these three packs, I'm curious if we're going to get any mythics. Oh, we got the chance for those $10 lands. As far as money, there's the bronze dragon. Any of the dragons really have value, especially altered art rare dragons. All right, so I'm gonna go over the uncommons and the rares. Ooh, a command tower. That's a nice pull. Set that aside. All right, Ganix, Astral Hunter. Five mana, it's four generic and one red for three, four. Whenever this creature or another dragon enters the battlefield under your control, you create a treasure token. Nice. All right, giant and keg, and keg. So six, eight mana, six generic, two green. This is eight, eight. So eight mana, eight, eight with trample. Ward two, other creatures you control have trample in ward two. I like that. All right, inspired tinkering. Four generic, one red. Exile the top three cards of your library until end of end of turn until your next turn you may play those cards. Create three treasure tokens. That's nice. Alright, we got our first rare. Alright, so two generic, one blue, one three. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast up to one target card from the other of the other type from your graveyard. If a spell cast from your graveyard this way would be put into your graveyard exile and said, I really like that. It can have a background. All right, and Tavern Brawler, two generic, one red. Commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile the top card of your library. This creature gets plus X plus O in the end of turn, where X is that card's mana value. You may play that card this turn. I like it. Ooh, nice. Double rare pack. We got one of the $10 lands. And oh, snap. We got a rare alternate art foil. This is like almost mythic level for me. It's really cool having the mirror art. So Raphael, Fiendish Savior. Three generic and Rakdos. Four, four flying. Other demons, devils, imps, and tieflings you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink. At the beginning of each end step, if a creature card was put into your graveyard for anywhere this turn, create a 1 1 red devil creature token with. When this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to any target. I like that card a lot. Not only that it's shiny, but I just like it. All right, that was a solid. Three rares in one pack. Nice. All right, Faithless One. This can be your background or your commander. It can also be both. So, it's under Cellar Sweep. For generic, one white. When under Cellar Sweep enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. Whenever you attack, if you or a player you are attacking has the initiative, you create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. Modify Memory. 
For generic, one blue. Exchange control of two target creatures controlled by different players. If you control neither creature, draw three cards. Ooh, nice. All right, Bone Collar Cleric. One generic, one black, two one. Pay three and black. Sacrifice this creature. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. I really like this card, if I'm being honest. Ooh. All right, so two, two mana. One green, one blue, one four. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast dragon spells from the top of your library. It's nice. Agent of the Shadow Thieves. Two mana, one generic, one black. Commander creatures you own have whenever this creature attacks a player. If no opponent has more life than that player, put a 1-1 one -one counter on this creature. It gains death touch and destruct one until end of turn. All right, our rare. We got one of the. We got a mythic. We got one of the dragons. So ancient bronze dragon, seven mana, five generic, two green for a seven seven, uh, flying. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, roll a d twenty. When you do, put X one one counters on um, on each of up to two target creatures where X is the result. Nice. Oh, and upside down card. Y'all witnessed that. Our foil was upside down in the pack. All right, last pack. I genuinely can't complain. We got some really good packs, if I'm being honest. Renary, Merchant of Marvels. Three generic, one blue, two four. You may cast dragon spells and artifact spells as though they had flash. Choose a background. Ooh, Arcane Signet, two mana, tap it, add one mana of any color of your commander's identity. All right, Stone Skin, two generic, one white, flash, enchanted creature. Enchant creature gets plus zero, plus ten. Oh, nice shot. I almost felt that one. Lulu Lemon, all right. Three generic, one white for a three two. Flying at the beginning of your end step. If a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a one one counter on each tap creature you control, then untap them. All right. Noble Heritage, one generic, one white. Commander creatures you own have when this creature enters the battlefield at the beginning of your upkeep. Each player may put two 1-1 one -one counters on a creature they control. For each opponent who does, you gain protection from that player until your next turn. Another rare, so that's nice. So Gale's Redirection. Three generic and two blue. Exile target spell. Then roll a d20 and add that spell's mana value. From 1 to 14, you may cast the exile card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as though it remains of any color to cast that spell. 15 plus, you may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost for as long as it remains exiled. That's, and we got another upside down foil, which that's kind of kinky. Alright, and let's check this out. Let's, what did we get for our promo? We got, all right, Uruti, I mean, El Truel Saviors. So three generic, one red, a zero four with Trample and Myriad. As long as this creature is attacking, it gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of lands depending on the defending player controls. I actually really like that. It's a really cool ability. All right, we got two foil rares, and one of them is our promo. The initiative. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you liked, comment, and subscribe, we would truly appreciate it. Go ahead and share this video on any platform you can share this. We would truly appreciate it. Go ahead and check out the Cryptic Commander anywhere we can listen to podcasts. And then again, thank you very much to our sponsors. We are sponsored by North Valley Games, where you can go to northvalleygames.com and save 10% off your orders. We are sponsored by the Hobby Goblins. We are partnered with Magic the Gathering Player Group, where you can find them on Facebook and Cosmic Gaming. My name is Luna, signing off.